Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to today's episode. And for today's vlog, I'm going to unbox and review this. Uh, this, I think, is going to be one of the most underrated shoes that a lot of people pass on and sleep on, but they're actually going to be super comfortable. Feeling ko lang naman yon, because I haven't tried it on yet, but hopefully it lives up to that self-hype that I have in my head. This is the Nike React Vision. I'm going to take it out of the box, Put it on feet. You're going to come with me throughout my day. I actually have a busy Saturday ahead of me. I'm going to pick up some watches. I'm going to drop off a big bag of random gadgets and sneakers to Sean for Project 7 to 1 mystery boxes. And then I even have like a webinar later tonight with Chinky Tan for Digipreneur. So I'll bring you guys along with me throughout the day. And as I wear the shoe throughout the day, I'll be chiming in with you uh, on this vlog on how I feel about them while I wear them on feet. Ang haba ng intro na yon, but I hope you guys get it. Let's go! Okay, let's get to work. So as you guys can see, this is your Dimension 6 box, which is like some sort of like prototype feels or experimental designs for Nike shoes. So if you take a look at the tag, it says over there, Nike React Vision. I did go size 13. And the, co the, the color that I went for, I, I asked in the previous vlog uh, for you guys to guess. And a lot of you got it correctly. I got the triple white color. Triple white because I currently have a phase with white shoes right now. And it was just so hard to resist. I mean, take a look at that. Ang sarap niyang dumihan. It's begging to be abused. It's begging to be dirtied up. It's begging to be stained all over. <laughs> That's the thing that you get with white shoes. They just get dirty really quickly. But it's just a really clean, futuristic silhouette. I love the fact that there is this heel clip at the back that kind of overextends. It gives it a, a different profile compared to your typical uh, React Element 55 and React Element 87, which more conforms to the shape of your shoe. Uh, your foot this one has that distinct vibe na parang hey i'm 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 edgy i'm i'm different i'm kind of unique so that's what i'm loving about uh, the the part over here and i love the lines that stretch across uh the upper it kind of gives me that aerodynamic feel it's it's as if like the air is slamming through the entire shoe and then it's consistent with the swoosh and then it's consistent with the line again that you see here at the back of the shoe anyway really loving the look and loving how clean this is compared to the other react visions that were kind of crazy with colors so that's our unboxing i'll put now put them on feet and go through my day like what i mentioned uh, i'll be heading over to greenhills to pick up some watches those will actually be the Seiko Street Fighter watches. And then uh, off to Rockwell. Let's go. Okay, so as far as initial impressions go, they're actually very comfy. I like the bounce, the springiness. Uh, the React is definitely kicking in. And one more thing I love about it is that it has a pull tab. So it was so much easier to wear compared to your other like React shoes. So, so far, so good. Now, let's go out. Kala mo mag abroad eh, no? Wow, ganda naman ang sapatos ni Mises. Stan Smith, Salmon Pink. Yun, no? Mm -hmm. So, laman nito, puro gadgets at shoes for our mystery box. Should be dropping next week. So, follow nyo Project 721 on Facebook. So, you know when it drops. So our first stop is Promenade Greenhills. We're going to drop by the new shop of At Tokyo. So they are a watch shop and I just want to pick up a brand new set of Seikos that I'll be unboxing on my watch channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my watch channel yet, make sure that you hit that sub well, click the link below and subscribe to that channel if you like watches. Alam mo kung di nila alam kung ano to, magmumukhang gasgasi yung relos eh no? Oo. Kung di nila alam. Wow, brutal ka naman sa relos no? Ganda. Ito yung chun-li. Chun-li. Medyo vape yung dating. Actually, ito yung pinaka-macho no. Bukangas nung daya. Yung impact ng ano yun. Parang paikot. Ah, yung move niya kasi yung umiikot. O yung umiikot sa gano'n, tapos babagsak yan. Ito yung blanca. Yung kulit. Ganda rin yung blanca. Ganda rin yung ano niya eh. Pagka dial niya o. Parang ano. 
Oh, you know. Okay, so I've clocked in a little over 5,000 steps uh, on the Nike React Vision and just some observations. Number one, I feel that it's more stable compared to the Nike Presto React. So overall comfort is definitely better than that. Uh, it also has like some sort of bounce springiness effect, especially on the midfoot section and near the lower part of the heel. So if you're the type of person na nangangalay yung paa, if the heel is a bit elevated, uh, this might not be the sneaker for you. But if you don't mind that, it's really soft. As in the, the cushioning is really good. I'm blown away with it. Didn't expect it to, to be that comfortable. I feel that it's much better than the Element React 55. Maybe a little bit better than the 87 because I just prefer the upper of this one. More breathable compared to the transparent uh, constrictive upper of the 87. So, so far, comparing the 55, the React Presto, uh, the React 87, and the React Vision, my number one right now is actually the Vision. So, wow, that didn't expect that. Honestly felt that this was like a lower grade version. But as it turns out, it's a really good lifestyle react shoe. So with that said, uh, actually, I just got the, the watches. So maybe the next part of the vlog will be I'll just show you a couple of them back at the studio when I get home. But for now, date muna kami ni Mises. Woo shoo! And our penguin. So diba? Okay, see you in a bit. Hey everyone, so we're back here in the condo after a ridiculously busy day and I just want to chime in on the React uh, Vision 1 last time. So like what I mentioned earlier, I was really pleasantly surprised and, and I stand by the original thesis that I had before I even put on the shoes. They are severely underrated in terms of comfort. I think the loud, crazy, crazy designs that they originally came in were kind of distracting and might have put off several kinds of people or different types of people but ultimately if it's just like everyday comfort and you just want like shoes that you can bring out and wear and be comfortable in regardless of the situation I think they do a perfectly fine job again in terms of everyday wear if I were to rank it I'd rank that number one I'd probably go with the uh, uh, React I don't know uh, Presto number two Number three would be the 55, and my last would be the 87 when it comes to like those particular sneakers. So again, if you want to check them out, uh, might want to buy them from Nike Philippines or any of the other websites that you see them uh, available. My hair is really messy, but anyway, so that wraps up my review and unboxing of the Nike React Vision. I clocked in a total of uh, 9,000 steps today, so I think that's pretty good time and experience with that shoe. Now, before I close off the vlog, you guys probably saw that I went watch shopping and I ended up buying a couple of new timepieces from the Seiko Street Fighter collection. Now, I just want to show you one watch. If you want to see my unboxing and reviews of like specific reviews per watch, please do check out my watch channel. I will link it down below. It's a dedicated vlog or YouTube channel where I talk about the watches that I have and the watches that I like. So this one is the Zangief uh, Seiko 5. So this one has your red, your yellow, your gold, that metallic thing going on. And what I love about it is the dial. Because if you take a look at the dial, there's some sort of like hurricane thing going on, which is the popular move, of course, of Zangief. The one, the one he goes around like a lariat or a clothesline. So that one was just really dope. And then secondly, I just love that the watch pops if you wear it on camera. So it's something uh, that works really well on video, especially here on the YouTube channel. If I want something that's more of an accent or some sort of like, I don't know, like accessory that works well with my typical black outfit. So again, really nice timepiece. Now the Seiko 5 uh, collection, Seiko 5 Street Fighter collection is available at, at Tokyo. Please do check them out. They're one of my favorite uh, watch shops. So they carry uh, Seiko, they also carry G-Shock. And I will, well, you, you, you just check them out. My favorite branches, there are two. One is over at Podium, second floor. And the second one is their newly opened branch over at Promenade in Green Hills Veramall or Vmall. Okay, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video for the day. I hope you're all doing fine. I hope you all had a great weekend and I pray that you all have an amazing week up ahead. This is Carlos signing out. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.